Hello and welcome to another episode of the Interview With series of the World of Work. Um, today we're going to be looking at Kate and her journey into her course and basically understanding her journey, what it is that she does and a little bit more about how maybe you could apply onto the course if that's something you're interested in. So without further ado, I'm just going to introduce you to Kate. Hi, I'm Kate and I'm studying architecture in my second year at Loughborough University. Perfect. Um, so in terms of getting onto that course, um, what sort of subjects did you do uh, in order to get there? You know, did you go through an FE route? Did you go state or sixth form? You know, what, what was the route that you took? Yeah, so I went to sixth form and I had A-levels. I did geography, fine arts and product design. And then at AS, I did maths. Um, and then before that, I did GCSE. So I did the standards sort of core subjects and then mainly humanities and DT kind of subjects. No, perfect. And there was, did you find that there was like a specific entry requirement to get onto your course? Like you had to take certain subjects or was it kind of a little bit flexible for your choice? I think it was a lot more flexible than I thought it was going to be. Um, generally, you hear about maths being a subject that you need to do for architecture. And I was quite surprised that you didn't actually need to do maths um, and people seem to do all sorts of subjects Some people have done more science math subjects some have done more art product design things so it is really broad and you seem to be able to um, get on with any different subject combinations as long as it meets the um, grade requirements okay perfect i mean yeah I, I certainly thought that there'd perhaps be like one specific subject that you needed but know the fact that you can have that little bit of flexibility I guess it it will benefit students that are perhaps slightly weaker in certain subjects so rather than you know you've got to go through a certain route it kind of it's nice that you've got your options open so thank you for that um in terms of your course now you know what kind of skills have you been able to to develop through throughout studying um there's a huge range of uh, skills that I've got from doing it so far a lot more than I thought I'd actually be doing. Um, so things from technical drawing skills, I've done a lot about presentation, so presenting your work as well as actually presenting it to a group of people, um, public speaking as well. So we have to do studio crits where we talk about our studio projects quite frequently. Um, as well as visual communication, it's really important that you can communicate your designs effectively and what your ideas are um, and then also things like building science um, learning about the construction of buildings um, the history of architecture so there's a huge broad range of uh, modules that we do and then um, we also do a lot of collaborative projects and one-off projects throughout the year as well so like cross school weeks um, smaller design projects that might be like three weeks to really long ones that might be nearly the whole semester so it's very broad no that sounds that sounds great and and would you say that all the skills are kind of that you're picking up are going to really be useful and, and valuable in in your future when you sort of eventually do get a career yeah I think so like even if you weren't sure you wanted to be an architect at the end of this degree I think it's really helpful in terms of improving your graphic communications so you could definitely go down the more art and graphics route or marketing even or down in a more research route after such as the more lighting or building um building science elements of things or essay writing as well with history so yeah i think there's a lot of different um courses elements that um lead to lots of different career no, that's fantastic. And the fact that you've, you've got so many transferable skills that you can kind of take in into so many different directions is probably, you know, really beneficial to you, but also anybody who's considering going into architecture, I guess it's sort of, yeah, reassuring that actually you don't have to have that that path sort of clearly set out. And um, there is a few different options for you to, to go down if need be. Yeah. Perfect. Um, and then sort of thinking back to college again, would you say that there's been like a massive step up from, you know, in terms of your A-levels? I know obviously it wasn't, um, 
you didn't do architecture at you know at a level there's there's no architecture a level course but that you know from the skills that you learned in in a level the subjects that you did taking those towards into your, your university course has it been like a massive step up or has it been you know quite manageable so far um for me personally i think doing fine art helped a lot because we did a lot of long writing about our work and sort of displaying art and it's usually quite a big workload of actually creating all this art throughout the year so I think that's helped me um but there's a lot of new content like I've never done a site plan before or um, a floor plan and that sort of thing that's really specific to architecture that you really have to learn as you go along however when you actually start the course, you'll find no one has done that before. So you're kind of all starting from the same platform, which is quite good. And um, the elements that some people might be better at, such as the mathsy people, or the arty people, you all end up kind of helping each other. And the other students are always willing to sort of help the people in the areas that they're not as good at. So it's kind of a quite a good community of sort of everyone helping each other and learning from each other and you, you find that sort of that collaboration of different people coming from different backgrounds having different strengths is that been really beneficial to you yeah definitely there's just sort of I don't know a range of subjects that people have done and they all bring different skills and different ideas on how to approach a project particularly if it's a group project so that's really helpful no th thank you that's that sounds great and then you know, what's one piece of advice that you'd like um, any students thinking about applying? You know, what would you like to share with them? You know, perhaps a positive, perhaps something to be aware of, you know, anything you'd like to share at all? Um, I think it definitely comes back to the fact that you don't need to have done a science or maths to go down the architecture route. So I think a lot of schools try and suggest that you do need to have done maths and it can put a lot of students off. So I think um just exploring more how you can actually get to doing a course and it's, you don't necessarily have to go down one route to get there it's quite important um because yeah if i didn't know that I, I might not have ended up applying for it so yeah no that's brilliant um but is, has it been worth worth it so far definitely made the right choice i think so yeah i Good. just think there's so many different um like skills that you learn that you could just go down so many different avenues with it. And then sort of, you know, thinking about that, obviously perhaps you're a bit reluctant to sort of think too far ahead, but have you got sort of an idea of a specific career or a specific kind of um, part of the industry that you're thinking about going down? At the moment, I'm thinking of going down the architecture, architect route. So doing the master's course probably at Loughborough again and then going on to do the final stages of becoming an architect. Um, but that could change. It's quite a long course, so <laughs> see what happens. No, I think that's perfectly fair. And then maybe one day having your own building on, on like the London skyline, or is that not something maybe you're interested in? Who knows? <laughs> well, hopefully um, you'll be able to sort of pursue your dreams and, and kind of make it happen. Um, just want to wish you best of luck with with the course and hope it goes all well and thank you again for sort of sp taking time to, to speak with us i think it's been certainly really beneficial for me and hopefully for the viewers as well yeah thanks no my pleasure and th you know thank you for you guys to for watching and listening hope you found it yeah as i say really useful you've got a little bit more of an information about architecture and, and if it is something that you're interested in and you want to learn more there's plenty of websites online that you can look through and get a little bit more of information um, talk to you sort of careers guidance as well and um, to get that little bit of extra information rather than sort of being in the dark about it and um, go to our pathways website if you want any more information from us um, and please do check out any more of our interview with series as part of the world of work project that we are working on um, but that's everything from us right now um, hopefully you enjoyed it and i shall see you all soon bye bye